Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 15 Crew Mode part number 7. We got Texas. I don't know how that will go. I'm a little worried about it, to be honest. So, yeah. A little worried. So, the only thing we can do... I did some testing off camera. It seems like uh, if we do one times wear, it'll be good enough to have the AI only pit once, so we shouldn't have any weird like AI issues. So, yeah, We also are going to go into this. We're going to try to up the uh, the engine and arrow and all that other sort of stuff. Just trying to get everything about as good as we possibly can. We lost the point lead after last race, so that's a first for us in quite a while. But yeah. So, it'll be interesting to say at least with how this goes. So we're going to up the engine, up the suspension. We're not going to adjust the brakes. Body and chassis will do the same. And yeah. So this should be decent. So yeah, I think we'll keep our. I think we'll bring back our top ten streak after this one. Or if we, we top ten finishes doable. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll show you the settings and then we'll get into qualifying. So here's our settings. It's going to be uh, 67 laps. We're going to bump this down to times one. So the fuel use should be around about 36 laps or 38 somewhere around there with times one so yeah clear cut one pit stop with that so yeah anyways we'll accept the changes qualifying um, same adjustments as usual with the 1222 tire pressures a little bit of the wedge adjustment and that's really it so i'll be back in a couple of minutes Alrighty, so we're not going to move on to the first round but 26 ain't that bad i will gladly i'll gladly take that so, we'll see who starts on the pole, and all that okay, good stuff. You're have to fight your way the pack so, on race day. yeah, we just gotta try to stay ready. clear of the AI insanity. <laughs> and, let's see. Okay, Truex on pole. Kyle's up there, which, you know, he needs a good run, because he's been <laughs> terrible this year. Where's Casey Mears? I'm like, I'm I'm now getting, it, like, emotionally jailed you to 32nd, 37. Oh my god, 40th. Oh no. Well, um, we'll have Mike Joy and Daryl take it away. As I saw Larson's car, that was that looked weird. Here we are at one of America's greatest cathedrals of speed. Mike Joy and Daryl Waltrip welcoming you to Texas Motor Speedway and the Samsung Mobile 500. Mike, you hit the nail on the head. This joint is bad fast. It's one of the fastest tracks on the circuit. It's also one of the biggest races. Everybody comes here, they want to win those cowboy hats and shoot those six shooters. Carl Edwards has three wins here, five drivers tied with two apiece. Yeah, there, there's a bunch of guys I think you can favor here. The Roush cars look really, really good this week. They say everything's bigger in Texas. Let's find out who's best in Texas. Alrighty, here we go. On the outside line, which it's 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 not where I want to be. The AI stop in the front straightaway a lot. Can I can I say that? Is that okay for me to say? I don't know. I might be Mr. Complainy Pants again saying that, but yeah, I really want to try to avoid that if I can. But with this race being 67 laps and uh, fuel should be around like lap 38 or 39 with the fuel. It's, we're going to have a lot of time here to have this kind of play out as we're actually going to have time to get to the bottom lane. Ooh, I like that. So, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They stopped in turn three. That Now I'm back to where I did want to be. Oh, boy. This is, this is going to be bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, boy. Okay, we had a slam on the brakes there to not hit Regan Smith. Yeah, that's what I mean about them just stopping. It's just, it's crazy. They are, I don't know what they're doing up there, but I'm going to try to stay away from their, their line just to try to avoid any craziness. But yeah, it's just, oh boy, it's just, as long as the outside line doesn't stack up, we can survive. Jimmy just stopped. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. I don't know how to properly uh, explain it but we gain we're up into 18th which is pretty good we just i don't know how long it's gonna take for the field to spread out 
But the AI do pit weird here, where they uh, they enter pit road in turn three, which is weird. Also, that is Bobby Labonte. Okay, I don't know why he's up that high in the field, but I'll take that spot. Surprisingly, the outside line has been really good, so maybe I was wrong. I don't know. We're almost in the top 15, but yeah, like I was trying to say, we're going to gain a lot of time uh, during the, the pit stop because they slow up in turn three, so that is our one real chance of gaining a lot of time. So we really just kind of just got to put ourselves in position for the first half of this race. And we should make up all that ground when we pit, so. I'm looking forward to that when that occurs. Kurt took the lead, hell yeah. I don't know what happened to Truex, who was on pole. But anytime Kurt leading, I mean, I'm happy. Boy, Trevor Bain just <laughs> got right by Larson like he was standing still. But we're doing pretty good right now. We have. Ooh, ooh. Little wall tap that destroyed the right side of the car, and they're stopping. Ugh, it's just a really, really awful angle in the car. What I was trying to say is Michael McDowell won at Martinsville, and it was absolutely insane. And he's running good today, so good for him. Yeah, the field's still a bit too bunched up. I was gonna maybe try to relax for maybe a lap, but that ain't gonna happen. How the field is so far, it's they're still too bunched up. We're going to get by Larson. They do slow up in turn one, so we can kind of cheese it a little bit on the bottom. Yeah, it's, oh, oh. I don't know why he stopped, but... I mean, I'll take it. In the 14th. And... I was going to chill for a lap, but it seems like Stenhouse wanted me to keep talking, so I will keep doing that. So we'll get to the inside of him. Should be able to get the inside of Logano here with how he slows up in turn one. And we do. And yeah, it's just... I mean, I don't know if the car is actually that fast or just the AI being really weird. <laughs> but we are losing ground to Kurt, so I think that maybe tells us... That may answer our question with that. But yeah, we're doing pretty good. I'm, I'm surprised I even got 26 in qualifying. But I think with all those, like base adjustments it's almost the equivalent of a full race now car possibly i don't know i'm just speculating but it definitely it's got a little more like life to it i guess so that's good just as i was gonna stop talking we're to the inside of kansas we should be able to get by him in turn one cole wit is just casually in seventh by the way i don't know how I'm very confused on that but he's just chilling like, like he's always been there. <laughs> yeah, I like to... Okay, thank you, Ken. <laughs> I was going to say, I like to not get pinched, but it didn't matter. Poor Truex, who started on the pole, has fallen back to probably ninth or 10th here, so... Sucks for him. And with that, up into 8th. And we'll try to... Okay, never mind, he's putting up a fight. I respect it. I respect it. Damn. He's gonna clear me. I'm just gonna let him have it. I don't know if he was, was gonna stop or in front of me or what. I mean, really didn't want to take that chance. So I just kind of backed out the corner a little bit early. I think once we get by him, then we'll be in a little bit of uh, a little bit of in relaxation mode for a bit. And there we go. Okay, maybe I can finally start to chill and just calm and calm down and just relax and take the race in for what it is. No, I can't. God damn it. I, la I just want a lap. I have not gotten a lap to just relax yet. Please, Truex, do not stop. He sort of kind of did, but it didn't really affect me. Can I, can I pass him now? Can I, like, just... I would love to just relax. There we go. All right, I think finally, 13 laps in, I can just chill for a lap or so. Multiple laps have gone by, still chilling in eighth. We're losing more time to Kurt, so... I don't think winning is going to be really a possibility, but we might be able to gain a spot or two just during the pit cycle, so I don't think a top top, uh, top five is possible at the moment. But can I just say, I miss the old Texas. Like, granted, Texas wasn't really, wasn't really great to be, like, too much to begin with, but God, it's ever since the reconfiguration of 1 and 2, it's just, it's made, like, a 5 out of 10 track 
a 1 out of 10 track. And I, I do miss this version of it where I can race and I'd be like, that's just my thoughts, just that that's it. <laughs> Marcin keeps getting to my bumper, but he can't get around me and I don't know why. I don't know if it's just arrow push or what, but every time he gets near me, he just keeps losing it, which honestly might be just indicative to the arrow package of the time where when you get behind someone, the car just gets really tight and just doesn't turn and it's just pretty, pretty bad. Like, the game actually replicated that pretty well because I remember in online, uh, online league races, that was always like a really big problem. And if somebody gets in clean air, the car drives like a million times better. So that's probably the case. It just, I don't know. Interesting the game yeah, implements yeah. that. Even though it's bad because it makes racing bad when you can't pass or gain a position because of dirty air, but they, they replicated it in video game land. He's trying, but it's not gonna work again. So here's the rundown of almost every lap. I go through one and two. I'm okay, but Larson always keeps getting a good run off the corner. I just simply just hold my line, go up against the wall. Then in three and four, I gave him the bottom lane. And I'm thinking like, okay, maybe he'll get by me this lap. I can maybe focus on my race. Or or this lap, he can prove everything I was saying to be wrong. All right. Also, people are pitting, which is a bit weird because they are not even really close to running that on fuel, so... I don't know, but hey, we, we did... Oh my god, Casey Mears is legitimately in 10th after starting 37th. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Please, Josh Wise, do not hold them up. Thank you. Oh my god, that's incredible. I'm going to be pinning this lap. It looks like somebody else way up in front of me is doing the same sort of thing. But we can enter Piro pretty late. I'm going to start slowing down now. Just because I have stock brakes in it, so I know it's not going to slow you very well. Row, so 45... Perfect. Yeah, it could have been a little bit better, but we're going to lower the, okay, the wedge up, yeah, the wedge a little bit, maybe a full round down, and that's going to be it. Lower the grill tape a little bit too, maybe 45, and then that's it. And repair damage, because why not? Well, this is going to be very interesting to see where this cycles out. So I'm curious if we're going to gain any spots on track. So Kurt still has yet to pit, but everybody else at this point that's going to pit should be able to make it on fuel, no problem. Yeah, now we just gotta wait and just see where we cycle out. Back. So, top, one back. Yeah. One but we're back, ahead of Casey high. Mears by a good bit, so that's pri Watch that's promising, I guess. Pass. It's nice to have four fresh tires and just high. blow by these uh, <laughs> top five cars. They should be pinning here pretty soon. The longer they stay out, the less laps they're gonna have on track to make up that time. So it just would would be better for them to start pitting now. So I guess we'll see. Uh, anybody? No. Nope. Right, so. It's been. I don't know. Just gotta wait it out. That's all we could do now. Not, 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 nothing too interesting occurring. We have Kurt Busch pitting, so that's gonna be a pretty good undercut for him if this works out. So interesting development. Brad takes the lead. I think the first lead change, and God knows how many laps. Hamlin just oh my, just hit him. Buddy. Hamlin, I'm, I'm okay with you pitting, but please don't just hit the brakes right in front of me. That was not really good. That could have ended really badly. There's Larson, my arch nemesis for this race. I was racing him for most of it. He did pit, so he's probably got a couple of fresher tires than me, I would imagine. But he's having a weird trouble of trying to get by me, so we're good for now. And we'll just kind of keep waiting this out. We are now back to ninth, so nothing's gained at the moment. Cole Witt is about a second up the road. He must be in the middle of those lap cars, or lead lap cars, I mean. And we got Kyle and Brad still ha haven't yet to pit. Kind of curious how, how like how far back they will go because we might be able to get up to seventh if we're lucky. So I don't know, but hey, at least we're back to where we were, which is nice. And 
top 10 finish seems to be pretty reasonable today. Or tonight. Considering it's nighttime. Okay, okay Dale Jr. Go. was out there, so... I don't know why, but... That's another spot gained, which I will gladly take. Now the question is, when are Kyle Busch and Brad going to pit? Because they are on lap 52. They obviously Watch should not be able to make it that far. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of waiting. Okay, those could be behind. potential spots for us to gain. Ooh, perfect. Beautiful. That's what I was just talking about. So. That might be for position. I don't know. But we're going to try to push it and see if we can maybe BS a sixth place finish. Because I know we're not going to catch Cole Whit there. We're back on the lap now. Just kind of, kind of curious where this is going to shake out. I don't know where on earth Kurt is. He's got to be like seven or so seconds ahead of me if I had to guess. But, Far three back. They're leaving Piro now. And boy, I, I'm kind of curious <laughs> where Kurt is. I'm kind of pulling for him. Kyle is leading. So he actually beat Brad out of Piro, I guess. And the interval is about... Okay. I don't know where Kurt is, but... Yikes. They were they're 13 or 12 seconds in front of me. Good lord. Danica being a lap car, I think, just put Larson in the wall. I'm not Outside. sure. But thank you for right making side. me stay in eighth. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Where's Casey Mears, though? I, I, I need to know where he's at. I'm... I'm I'm worried. Okay. It looks like Stenhouse is for position back there, so Mears might be eleventh, which will be a good playoff chase run thing for him. If it keeps going. Also, Brad just took the lead, so I guess him and Kyle are still close together. Lab traffic is all over the place, so we I think we've gained like two seconds because of all the lap cars they're dealing with, so I mean, it's nice, but we're just still way too far back. Cole, Cole Witt is just pulling away. <laughs> I, I can't catch him. I'm going to try to get around Jeb Burton here. And we should be able to get to the inside of him going into turn one. That might be able to hold up Larson, to too. I'm not sure. There we go. We'll get by him, no problem. And we'll just keep down the bottom lane. He's trying to race me. And can we shut the door on him? Yes, we can. Perfect. All right, that wasn't you. too bad. Stenhouse gets by Larson. It seems like he might be faster. But we got another lap car. That's upon us here, which might be able to save us from losing another spot. I don't know. All right, your door. Brian Blaney's up there, so good run for him. Just got to see how we get around Michael Waltrip and see how much that affects uh, cars behind me. Also, Stenhouse stopped. I don't, I don't know why. That gives us a little more time to plan out the pass. I mean, I mean, ever since lap 13, not a whole lot has happened. It's been very clean and green and nothing too much going on. Brad and Kyle are having a battle up there, which is nice. So, something's happening at some somewhere on the track. Five to go. And should they be able to get the inside of Waltrip here? Going into one, we do. At your door, we just, okay, well, hitting the apron does not make things easier. In fact, it makes everything a lot harder. As here comes Larson. Watch your rear. He might be able to actually make the pass on me unless Walter pulls him up here on the bottom lane. That might actually be a thing. <laughs> Poor Larson just keeps getting boned in different ways with lap cars or me. It's just, oh, what a, what a rough day. No, you stay behind Michael and Nett, and I will pass you both. See, that wasn't all too bad. Now, was it? Okay, never mind. I'm not going to be able to get by in that. Oh, wait, yes, I am. Okay. I really didn't expect that, but I will take that. Point flag for ourselves is Haley just stops on the front straightaway. That could have been really bad. Kyle Bush is trying to win and put himself in the in the playoffs, and off turn four, it looks like he's going to do it. Well, holy shit. <laughs> Damn, Kyle Bush has been awful this whole season, but now with that win, he's, he's now in, so... Good him, but th uh, through three and four for us, we'll bring it home in a solid eighth place. I mean, nothing <laughs> happened since lap 13 nearly. My god, but we bring it home in a solid top 10 finish. Car, I'm, I, I couldn't be any more satisfied with that. That was, that was nice. Kurt 
got fourth, seven seconds back. I can't believe Brad and Kyle's strategy worked out with staying out for so long. It should like it shouldn't have worked by all logic, but it did. And yeah, I don't know. It's just crazy. So we got Larson tenth, Mears is fourteenth. Yes. Oh, beautiful. McMurray's 15th. Labani's 16th. Oh my god. Mears is still probably in the chase. He might have gained spots, if for all we know. <laughs> he started like 37th, too. Like, what a what a bro. Dale Jr. with a horrible run, so there goes his point lead. A uh, good chunk of people got put a lap down. And there's, as there's only... Oh my god. 22 on the lead lap. And Josh Wise beat Trix, who start on pole. <laughs> wow. Danica last. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I just realized Colwitt just got sixth. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Alright, I let's let's uh, look at the points. We back in the point lead. Hamlin's only three points behind me. Junior uh, dropped a lot starting like went from first to fifth. Okay, now now this top nine is looking pretty normal. It took a little bit, but it, it's looking a little bit normal. Kyle moves up to 11th. Casey Mears gained a spot, so he is still in the chase at the moment. Kyle, with his uh, win, he's above the top 16, so he's not going to be really kicking anyone out that's in the top 16, so it's not going to affect anything. But as of right now, Stewart is only four points ahead of uh, Boyer, and Biffle's... Yeah, it's still it's still pretty close. Mears is still kind of on the on the bubble too, only with nine point advantage over Stewart. But yeah, point standings are still a little a little weird. Colwitz twenty first with three top tens, three top tens, and Gordon only has one. <laughs> Mears has more top tens than Gordon and Stewart and Biff. <laughs> That's oh my god, what a Oh boy, I'm... Please, I need Mears in the top 16. Even if it don't make sense, I need it. And no sponsor. That, God damn it. Well, that sucks. And next race is going to be Bristol, which is going to be hell. Richmond's going to be hell. And Talladega will be fun. And we'll be on a streak of races that will be pretty fun for the most part. So, yeah. After Richmond, we're going to have a long streak of races that are going to be fun until we get to... New Hampshire. Yeah. Well, I guess that'll do it for me. Let's let's wrap this part up. I I'm I'm so happy. I'm so happy how that went. That was that was so chill. Big shout out to my two three Patreon supporters, the Dale Rounds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave on our Champ 15, NASCAR number site dot org, Bailey Carrier, Golf Get 100, Danny Hamlin, Ultra Family, Mio Bebser, Mark Harmon, and Mexican Link 1986 for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support the channel every single month like this does me a lot and always goes a long ways and i'm just really grateful for all you sticking around this channel for so long and all that's really cool so just i, I appreciate it and i i want to win i want to win so i can have your name and victory lane in this universe that would be pretty cool i flicked my hand on the controller because i was excited again i'll see you all next episode for bristol um I don't know. It's either going to be so... It's going to be very uneventful, or it's going to be very eventful and then just pain. So I don't know. Also, you're going to probably be seeing this on the same day as the other part with uh, how that was. Just because it didn't reach 20 minutes, I just feel I'm not giving you the girthy episode that it that I want. So you're probably seeing this one and the other one like on the same day as a little like token of extra content for the other one not being 20 minutes because holy shit there was like nothing happened in that race or the last part so. yeah you're yeah that's it <laughs> i'll see you all next episode i'll see you all later and as always have a good day everyone